Hello from, from Soju Pisco. Today we are visiting the old Korean legation museum in Washington, D.C., a historic house museum that served as a diplomatic mission of Korea from 1889 to 1905. As you can see, this is the front of the building and the main entrance. The building was built in 1877 as a residence for Seth Ledyard Phelps, a naval officer, politician, and diplomat. It has a Victorian-style architecture with ornate details and decorations. This is the reception area where you can see the Korean flag hanging on the wall. The flag is called Taegukki and it represents the balance of yin and yang forces in the universe. The first step of our tour is watching a video about the story of the old Korean legation museum and the drawing of the building. The video explains how Korea established diplomatic relations with the United States in 1882 and how it purchased this building in 1891 as its first overseas legation. Next, we enter the parlor where guests were welcomed and entertained by the Korean diplomats. You can see some traditional Korean furniture such as tables, chairs, and cabinets made of wood and lacquerware. You can also see some paintings and photographs of important figures in Korean history. This is the dining room, where meals were served to guests and visitors. You can see some elegant tableware such as porcelain plates, bowls, and cups with blue and white patterns that reflect Korea's ceramic artistry. Fun fact, even ex-president Moon Jae-in ate here when he visited this museum in 2018. Oh, wow! The back parlor, which was used for less formal gatherings, has a more relaxed ambience and is decorated with portraits of notable Korean figures and antique furniture. Now we go up to the second floor by these stairs, where you can see a banner of Pak Yong yang who was Korea's first minister to the United States from 1890 to 1896. The minister's office is a grand room with a large desk and antique furniture, which reflects the importance of the work that was done here. This is the minister's bathroom, where he slept and rested after his busy days. You can see his bath, closet, dresser, mirror and other personal belongings that he brought from Korea or acquired here. The minister's bathroom, which is located off the bedroom, has a vintage feel with a cloud foot top, antique fi fixtures, and an amazing view to the Logan Circle. This is the office of ligation workers, where the support staff would work and handle administrative tasks. The room contains desk and other furniture from the 19th century. The library, which is also located on the second floor, is a quiet and peaceful space filled with books and antique furniture. Now, we go up to the third floor by the stairs, where you can see an exhibit that showcases the history and culture of Korea and its relations with the United States. The exhibit features various artifacts, photos, videos, and interactive displays that tell the stories of Korea's past and present. The exhibit shares a lot of interesting information, but the one that caught more our attention was the map showing the route of Korea's diplomatic mission to the United States in 1883. This was the first official delegation sent by Korea to establish diplomatic ties with the United States after signing a treaty of friendship, commerce, and navigation. The mission lasted for almost two years and covered more than 40 cities in 14 countries. It is a remarkable journey that opened Korea's eyes to the world and paved the way for its modernization. The old Korean Legation Museum building is one of the most prominent landmarks on Logan Circle. It is a symbol of the friendship and cooperation between Korea and the United States. It is also a testament to Korea's resilience and pride in its history and culture. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the old Korean Legation Museum. 
and learn something new about Korea and its relations with the United States. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel Soju Pisco. For more videos like this, see you next time.